Okay, we're going to look at the PLC area. Before you get started, it'll help you out. First of all, I want to show we've got a couple things. We've got this basic trainer for the PLC, a motor trainer, and a pneumatic. And as you go through the course, you'll be going through those. First, I want to show the, uh, the software that you're going to do. When we go here, we go to Automation Direct, and we go to the Click Programming Software, not the Help, and it comes up. This software is what you'll use to program with and do everything. So to start a project, we click Start, and then we have to look at this model number up here, except on our trainer. All three trainers have the same number, C0, 0, 02 DD1 dash D. And you even see the picture changes of the PLC. So I'll get back there and I just go OK. At that point, not much has happened. Now, this is the basic interface where it's a drag and drop. So we're going to simply have uh, a very simple contact run an output. But let's look at the trainer first for some hardware. Over here, we've got the PLC on the left side. You may be able to see a little light on. And that light is what's running the, um, showing you the status of any inputs. On the opposite side, just, just, just zoom straight over it. On the opposite side is X1, X2, X3. C1 means a common connection. That's not something we have a light for. And then the next lights are the outputs. And they would la labeled Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. So this trainer has four inputs, four outputs, and later we'll learn about an analog in and out. So knowing that, I'm going to simply type, drag in a normally open contact, X1. And a lot of people ask questions, how does it work? I always hit help, and I read this line that explains the instruction. So that makes it very easy to be able to understand, as well as with asking questions to your instructor. So I'm just going to have X1, and then I'm going to drag an output instruction, and I'm just going to type Y4. You'll notice it changes and adds the zeros you don't need to and go OK. So this program, whenever I push X1, will turn on Y4. Then I need an end instruction to close the program. Then I'm going to go to the PLC menu, and I'm going to go connect. This cable that it's referring to is what we move between the different trainers. Usually it's COM4. You kind of have to try, but usually it's COM4 or 5. I'm going to go connect, and you see it says it cannot connect. That's because I'm still holding the cable. So I can put it in either one of the ports, but I put it in the top port, and now I'm going to go connect. Now it's saying it can read the program that's already in the click. I don't want to do that. I've just written my program. I'm going to say don't read. At that point, it makes the connection. It can tell that the PLC is in run or stop. We can control it from this button. But what we haven't done is transfer the program. To do that, we're going to write, this is called a project. We're going to write the project into the PLC. Later, there's a shortcut key you can hit. But we'll just do that. It's important to save the program. I've already got one in there. I'll call this Test Program 2. Normally, name it your skills. Now it's asking you to click OK. It's showing you how many steps. This is a very small program. Go OK. And it says the PLC is running. Well, on the factory floor, we'd want to make sure the machine has been told to stop because we're going to stop it from doing anything. Um, so we're just not going to affect us here. So we're going to tell it, yep, go ahead, download it. It's sending the program, parameters, different parts of the entire project. And when that's done, just say transfer OK, and it always asks permission to put it back and run. So now we'll look at the uh, trainer over here. Nothing seems to have happened, 
but I'm going to push X1, which our program said turns on Y4. I did that to give you the idea, and you can see it on the screen, but it's far better to look at the PLC, because if I push this really fast, we don't see all of the turning on and off. So to review, you got to run the Click software under Automation Direct. You have to connect to the port to be able to transfer and connect to that COM port.